What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today I am going to be attempting a bench press PR and also talk a little bit about what I've done to increase my bench press over the past few months. So if you guys have been following with either my Instagram or my YouTube channel, you've been seeing that I've been doing a three month bench specialty program very specific to increasing your one rep max bench press. Uh, I've been benching three times a week, upping that frequency so that I can get better at the skill of benching and hopefully bench more weight by you know fixing form and doing things like that. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about you know the specific things I've done. Uh, I think in this video I'm attempting a 82.5 kilo bench press uh, at a body weight of about 63 kilos. So about uh, 20 kilos above my body weight which is fairly decent. Uh, it's still my weakest lift by far but it's definitely come a long way uh, from when I started this program. So the first thing I have done uh, to really increase it is up the frequency of how much I bench press. So I think I've talked about this before on my channel, the training principle of specificity. Whatever you want to train, you should do more of that to become better at it, to spend more time doing it and develop that skill. So that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been benching, I used to bench only once a week and then before the program I benched a little bit uh, for twice a week for a little bit and then when I started this program I started benching three times a week uh, which is a lot but the the point of that is to help with muscle memory to help uh, doing uh, help with the form obviously because you're doing it more so it's just going to come more naturally another thing is when you start benching three times a week you start to do it at a more sub-maximal intensity you obviously won't come in the gym and go hard and heavy on bench working up to one at max three times a week uh, they're very planned specific reps sets and percentage of your one rep max and it uh, majority of the training is at a sub-maximal style of training which means it's around 55 to 70 percent of your one rep max which really allows you to work on your form making sure that it's perfect and that's the optimal sort of intensity and where you can really build strength rather than test it so that's what i've really been doing managing my volume benching three times a week Another thing is making sure that all my accessory movements are related to improving the weak points of my bench press. So, for example, I was really weak off the chest in the hole, so I was making sure I was sort of pausing a bit more, doing a bit of pause benching, uh, making sure that I'm more explosive off that position, and I can definitely see it pay off. Uh, some people are really... Uh, their weak point is the top, so that means their triceps are weak, so things you could do to accessorize that are... Uh, tricep dominant sort of movements such as you know dips or you could do another variation of a bench press such as a spoto press where you come down halfway pause and then go back up and that puts more stress uh, stress more stress on the triceps so those are a couple of things i've been doing i originally was only going to attempt 80 kilos i uh, think which is 176 pounds uh, i wasn't even too sure if i was going to get it it flew off my chest so i thought i'd attempt 82.5 uh, the first shot, I just missed it completely. I uh, don't know what happened there. I really knew I could get it because 80 flew up. So I thought I'd take a few minutes, rest a bit, uh, re-attempted and got it. So I was really happy with that. And I just wanted to sort of share with you guys what has sort of helped my bench press and what you can apply to yours. And just any lift or anything you want to improve at, just to, you know, do more of it in a sort of responsible way not going too hard or uh, burning yourself out but at the same time doing enough to improve at it and actually build that actual skill of what it is you want to improve if you want to become better at jumping you should be you know jumping quite often to improve the, your technique your form your muscle memory etc so to sum up the two things that really help me is uh, upping the frequency uh, making sure that I'm building the actual skill and making sure that I'm managing my volume properly training in an optimal intensity to build strength and the second thing is making sure that my training and my accessory movements are tied around improving my bench press so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like subscribe a lot more content coming soon I will see you guys in the next video peace